How you doing? It's Paul Begley. It's a winter wonderland out there. I'm Paul Begley. Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Um, Cause I tell you, it's it's been crazy, hasn't it? It's been absolutely crazy. What's going on? First of all, you had the tsunami. You had the earthquake and the tsunami on the on the sixth anniversary of the worst tsunami in the history of the world. Two hundred and thirty thousand people died. The good news is, this tsunami that we had again there uh, off the coast of Fiji Island and 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 over in in the uh, Asian sea area there it nobody died okay and there's no we just we had an earthquake there were tsunami warnings everybody got on red alert but the good news is nobody died it was on the sixth anniversary of that major Indonesian earthquake and tsunami that hit six years ago back in 2004 so good news there here's some of the tough news though North Korea South Korea you know, South Korea is so tired. You, you got to understand, when you irritate a president so much that he says, I don't care. I don't care. We're ready for We don't care. We will go to war. I mean, you, this is not good. When people are so frustrated, they're ready to fight. They're ready to go to war. Means their judgment has been impaired due to the frustration, due to the irritation, due to the anger. During the uh, due, due to the threats, the pressure, they're tired of living under the constant threat of war. That, th th that they lose sight of the devastation. They lose sight of the catastrophe it would be if nuclear warheads were launched from both North Korea and South Korea at one another. And then don't forget about Japan or China or the United States of America, or Russia, all right there in that region. The U.S. sitting there, of course, with the USS George Washington, with its nuclear capabilities and its 75 warplanes it's able to strike and its 6,000 sailors. And you got to understand, this is a major threat to that region. And North Korea has their nuclear warheads pointed directly at the head of South Korea, and South Korea has theirs pointed straight at the head of Kim Jong-il at North Korea. And then Russia's on red alert, China's on high alert. The seas of the, the Sea of Japan is, the water's troubled. Japan is, they're, they're as nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. This thing is a tinderbox, as uh, Governor Bill Richardson said. We're living in a very dangerous times. And so I don't know. I think that um, we, if we ever need prayer, it's now. If we look at Bible history and, and, and also Bible prophecy, we realize that historically when countries get to a boiling point, a lot of times they cool down and cooler heads do prevail. But in this case, I'm not sure we have cooler heads. I know right now Kim Jong-il is, is a lot of bark and not a lot of bike, but he's getting old and he's getting, uh, he's already nuts. He's narcissistic. He's schizophrenic. He's, uh, you know, but now I think he's, he's becoming, uh, uh, you know, paranoia is setting in. And then the young son, Kim Jong-un, he's got something to prove. He's got something to prove. He's got a name to make. The problem is he may make a name that's a grave mistake. And so I think everybody's got to settle down, calm down, and reflect on this situation and make sure we don't do something that just would be devastating. I'm Paul Begley. The snow may be falling here. The snow may be building up here. But the winds of war, the storms of war, are all around us. They're all around us. And the Bible said in Matthew 24, there shall be wars and rumors of wars. There will be earthquakes in different places. Pestilence. Famines. Kingdom against kingdom. And because iniquity abounds, the love of many will wax cold. We're living in the last days, people. We're living in the last days. I'm Paul Begley.
Happy holidays.